VSU 5 mil. Walmart. Pleasant Grove Farm, seven mil. Wallaby, seven point five mil. Harvest right, seven mil. Discount Mylar, seven mil. Distribution services, seven mil foil bag. American Harvest. Pont Mylar, two mil thickness. <laughs> DuPont Mylar. 7.5 mil. DuPont Oil. <coughs> DuPont Heat Seal. This would be the inner layer of a Mylar bag. This next test we're doing just for fun, I took all three layers 
of DuPont uh, mylar material, which would be the two mil on the outside, the foil on the inner side, and the heat seal on the inside. And I put them all together. Now this is not going to be an actual test test, so to speak, because the thing that we're missing is that the three layers uh, do not have the adhesive to hold everything together. They're, they're basically laying on top of each other, but it'll be interesting to see what this will do. These are the tests I performed on the various food storage bags. The bottom on the list was Vacuum Sealers Unlimited, and this is not necessarily bad because their bag is only 5 mils, and they came out at 1,400 grams. Uh, if, we, if we remove Vacuum Sealers Unlimited and pretty much stick with uh, the 7 mil bags, things might be a little more clear. Walmart which sells the home sense this is the one that's advertised at 14.8 mil but then when you go into it you find out that that's both sides of the bag and if you divide that in two to get 7.4 mil that's what they say they have but when i actually measured it uh it came up being four mil so that was a little bit disappointing so Walmart at 4 mil came at 2,954 grams, so they really are the bottom of the list. Next is Pleasant Grove Farms at 3,424, and then we have Wallaby at 3,480, Harvest Wright at 3,936 grams, Discount Mylar at 5,100, and then the one that came out the best was from Distribution Services and that was at 6,204 grams to, to puncture the uh, foil on their bag. Now I have some other results here. Uh, I put this on a different page because these items do not claim, well, these are things other materials than uh, food storage bags. So we have American Harvest, which is a little vacuum sealing machine that has a clear poly bag. That comes out at 3 mil, and that was 3,222 grams, and this kind of category stands all by itself. Now, if we get into DuPont, these are the genuine mylar materials. The 2 mil genuine mylar was at 6,442 grams. Now, if you think about that, pretty good, but when you compare it to the, the winner of my tests, a 2 mil genuine mylar outperformed all of the other uh, tests at 6,442 grams. Now, these next two materials, or I should say these top three materials, is what would be in a genuine mylar bag. The foil is what would be in between, and that tested at 4,468 grams. The heat seal, and that would be the inner material on a food storage bag, the heat seal is needed because mylar does not bond together with mylar. So they have to put this heat seal material inside, and that came back at 3,084 grams. Genuine mylar that is 7.5 mils, that came out as a whopping 21,952. And then I took these three items and put them in this category together. These were not put together by any type of adhesive. They were just laying on top of each other. That came out to 11,652 grams. So what does this all mean? Well, a couple of things. Genuine DuPont products, which is genuine mylar, outperforms any other material that we can buy. But like I've said in the past, DuPont does not make food storage bags. They only make the material. So this is a pretty good indication that many of the food storage bags that we're buying really do not have genuine Mylar product in it.
doesn't make the food storage bags bad. I mean, we can still use them, but just too many people have used the name Mylar when they really shouldn't be using the name Mylar. So depending on what you're going to package, this could make some difference because if we get a bag that's going to be that has a, a low rating for puncture resistant, uh, for example, if you're going to package up lasagna that could have some sharp freeze-dried noodles, well, those noodles or the pasta could actually spear the bag and cause a leak. So that's where some of this would be of concern. So this may be more information than you wanted, a little bit too technical here, but I enjoy doing this little test and I hope that this test along with the other tests with my birth test and tensile test might enlighten you and help you in deciding which food bag is best to purchase. And as I buy more bags in the future, I will add them to this list to kind of give like a, a running ranking on which bag is best. Thank you for your time. I hope I didn't bore you. Please subscribe. I could use your support and go forth and freeze dry the world.